This is the Army Accommodation Medal. It's an ARCOM. Um, they call it an ARCOM. Bill Craig will soon be making space on the walls of this room in his Cicero home. It's where he keeps the memories of his many military accomplishments. He has a distinguished service award coming from the Onondaga County District Attorney. It's, in, it's very important. It'll be very important to me, something I'll cherish for the rest of my life. He was first on the scene the night horror unfolded on Verplank Road in Clay. First to call 911. First to help the 10-year-old girl who had been raped by a man prosecutors say stabbed Lori Bresnahan to death. He kept telling the child more friends were coming to help. I was just thinking about what, I mean, I wasn't thinking really, it just came out, but I guess it's, it, it became very appropriate because what does a, a young person, what's a young person going to be able to understand best that I'm a friend? And I kept stressing that to the little girl in every stage up until she was transported um, as paramedics came. I'd say, sweetheart, this is a friend too. Or as the police came, this is a friend. And when they put her in the ambulance before I left her, I said, these people are friends and they're gonna take care of you. It was pitch black and cold. He secured the young victim in his car and more help did arrive including state police canine trooper Jeff Sikora. The way he approached this scene, secured this scene, did an assessment of everything that was going on, and then was able to go ahead and relay information and then hand off the information he had to another team member. And then he led the pursuit in the woods. He started to flush out David Renz. He um, told me to uh, stay with the girl. And uh, um, I wasn't leaving her anyways. <laughs> so if he would have, well, I shouldn't say that. If he, if he would have told me to go, I probably wouldn't have, or at least I would have resisted a little bit, but I was not leaving her side. She and I, in the, in the small amount of time, had developed a trust bond and um, she didn't want me to leave her side. By now, Verplank Road was teeming with every level of law enforcement imaginable, many of them volunteers responding to Bill Craig's 911 call for help. These volunteers with Moyers Corners Fire Department were probably sitting at home on their couch, like your couch over there, when they got the call to go there that night. Absolutely. I mean, these are, these are men and women that uh, may have been tucking in their children or reading a bedtime story or something and, and they just it blows me away the, the thank god for the volunteers that you know man all the fire departments i mean they're the definition of selfless what was in their eyes do you remember were you looking in people's <laughs> eyes that night the uh jeff sakura the the state police officer yeah. Um, <laughs> it was uh, intensity. I mean, it was, um, you know, I think it went from, hey, we have a problem here to we have a significant situation. I mean, we have a critical situation here. Um, to some of the paramedics, it was... Um, I know when I looked at the male paramedic that I asked to get out, it was almost like sorrow. I mean, he, it, when, when I you know, said, I think that you know, she's been assaulted, it was like, are you kidding me? They were all amazing. They were all amazing, and, uh, and I personally want to thank them. Um, you know, they, they, were, they, were, they were my heroes that night.